This is our mini tutorial on this muted, cool toned, sparkly eye makeup I created with the Charmacy Milano Star Bomb Eyeshadow in 002. This is the same eye topper I wore in my Mask Cosmetics Bullet Lipstick video. I got so many compliments that I thought I would properly talk about this eyeshadow here. But before that, I'm gonna apply a grey eyeshadow all over my eyelids. Grey eyeshadow from Pigment Play playground hero eyeshadow palette in Mayan princess so with this palette you get a couple of cool tones some neutrals and a couple of warmer shades this is how i usually apply my eyeshadow sweeping the color from the lash line towards a little above my crease line now let's talk about this palette the color payoff is not that great with pigment play palettes Mattes and shimmers in this palette perform the same way which is not the case with most affordable eye palettes if you have ever noticed. The shimmers perform much better than mattes. I tried many palettes from Pigment Play. To me, they have sheer to buildable coverage but for most part it's very sheer. To feather the edges of the shadow above my crease area, I took a clean fluffy blending brush, picked up this beige color from the same palette and blended the color above my my crease as like a transition shade. This is to make sure that the color is nicely bleeding into gradients and doesn't sit like a blob on the eyelids. Let's talk about Star Bomb Eyeshadow. If you search for the reviews, you will end up seeing two kinds of reactions. One set of people praising the sparkly iridescent finish, another set bashing the inconsistent formula. Some of them loved it, while some of them found the finish to lack consistency, especially in the way it glided on the skin. Both of them are true. Now, 002 is the shade I got. It's an iridescent twilight blue shimmer eyeshadow. When you glide the shadow in one swipe, you see this iridescent metallic shimmer with chunky lilac shimmers here and there. This looks kind of inconsistent. There is like a big chunk of shimmer in the middle of this beautiful iridescent metallic shadow. I don't think this is meant to be used as a metallic eyeshadow. Don't apply this in one swipe or else you will end up with the inconsistent chunky metallic finish. Just by reading the product name, it's the Star Bomb eyeshadow. Star Bomb. It's pretty clear that the eyeshadow is made to sparkle like a star on your eyes. The lilac chunky shimmers right here, it has to sparkle. So the most logical way to apply this is like a scattered shimmers technique where you take the product and you tap the shimmers to apply it. But how do I even explain the finish? A cosmic sea of minute shimmers and when the light hits, the chunky shimmers sparkle like stars in the cosmos. But it is kind of muted because of the twilight blue in the shimmers. Twilight blue is muted blue. It has that gray tone to it. So expect like a moody twilight vibe from 002. I loved everything about the shimmer except for the amount of fallouts you get. That's the only thing I hated. To get rid of shimmery fallouts that you see right here, you can take a spoolie brush and run the spoolie over the shimmers. Spoolie brushes have this fuzzy texture that when you run it over the fallout, it will pick up these shimmers. Charmacy demands just one extra work and that is to clean the fallouts. Overall, I'm gonna give this 8 on 10. There is a new brand in town and it's called Ellen Pro. I guess they're from Poland. I got a few products. First is their Ellen Pro Contour Eyeliner in brown. It's more of a ashy brown for my skin tone. I drew a very dumb, messy wing close to the lash line first. With a tapered eyeliner brush, I took the black shade from the Pigment Play palette and smudged the liner all while keeping the shape of the liner pretty thin and long. Instead of a black eyeliner, you can also try fun colors like purple or you know like dark royal blue that's gonna pop on your eyes even more if you have like brown eyes or honey colored eyes now i took a clean angled eyeliner brush and cleaned the bottom of the liner making sure that my eyeliner looked sharp and clean layering the powder eyeliner that i just drew with a liquid eyeliner from ellen pro this has a brush tip applicator so it was very easy to line the lash line area i love pen eyeliners for the same reason our hands are quite used to holding like a pen or a pencil than a brush unless you are an artist like an actual artist the latter is more comfortable but for most people 
we use pencils and pens quite often so drawing the eyeliner with these types of applicator is quite easy i tried a new mascara from the brand stace it's a tubing mascara basically the polymers in tubing mascara create a tube around the lashes when you apply it and these tube like polymers are supposed to give your lashes a lot of length Stays gave me that volume, it gave me length, it also separated the lashes. I do not like clumpy mascara finish. People who like clean and defined lashes will adore this formula. Two words to describe my lashes with this mascara, flirty and defined. I am gonna make a dedicated video on mascara though. Tight lined the upper lash line with the same Ellen Pro eye contour pencil. For the lower lash line, I smudged the eye contour pencil along with a brown shadow from the Pigment Play eyeshadow palette. To finish off the look, I lined my lips with Swiss Beauty Bold Matte Lip Liner in purple topped it off with mask candelicious lip gloss in berry burst this is my favorite lip gloss at the moment and this is the finished look did you like it will you try eye makeup like this tell me in the comments down below subscribe for more i'll see you later bye guys